Hey guys, it's Super Ivy, the hashtag hero here with the genre bending hip hop rock band Push Method. Here we got Dan and Dusty. So, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about why the name Push Method? Um, well, we started out as Push. Uh, Tavis came up with the name Push. He pretty much started the band, had the idea of putting the band together, and um, it was just he and I in the studio with our manager, who is now our manager and was our producer, uh, Patrick. And I, we, part of it was practical, part of it was philosophical. We, you know, you, you Google push, and there's a million things, right? And so we kind of wanted to be uh, a little bit higher on the radar of search engines. So we thought, okay, what, what where can we add? Well, pushing was about, like, that, that word came about for us because we wanted to push hard. We knew we had to hustle hard. We knew we had to go hard if we were going to be successful in this business. So it was kind of like a method, right, of, of how we're going to go about it. So it became push method. Okay. Well, what would you say is your greatest superpower together? Honestly, together, it's creativity. Mm. And I think that's really, as a band, where we excel in a lot of different areas is our creativity. I mean, a lot of bands out there, big bands, have teams of people who handle stuff for them. Um, we do everything ourselves when it comes to social media, when it comes to outreach, when it comes to coming up with ideas for videos. Design. Design, I mean, which is a huge part. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you have to, as a band, we have a brand, a lifestyle, and, um, Creativity is really where I think we're all very strong. Speaking of creative, uh, we had the chance to catch you guys out in Washington Square Park spray painting t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to find out a little bit about some of the stuff here. We got a panda for Panda Diplomacy. What's the story behind that? Um, so Panda Diplomacy was is a surf and skate brand um, based out of here in New York. Um, Quickly, how it started was we were playing a show for Earth Day, uh, NYC, and um, these five pandas dressed all in big panda suits came out while we were setting up on stage, and they just started doing this weird dance. Now, it was cool and everything. Later, a few days later, I'm looking on Instagram, and I noticed the photo, um, and I noticed us in the background on stage setting up, so I just kind of typed a message to the guy. I was like, oh, that's us in the background, not having any idea on what the brand was yet. Then I looked at the brand. I, I loved their messaging and their style and everything they stood for. Um, so we kind of got into talks with uh, the owner, Jeff, um, and kind of just developed a relationship. He loved what we were doing, loved the music. We loved their brand and their lifestyle. Um, and we have developed it to a point where he actually just produced our newest music video called Free Hawaii, which will come out end of July ish. Yeah. About end of July. Nice, nice. And what about this megaphone? I noticed you guys have a big black megaphone. Is there a story behind that? Yeah. Um, so the, the megaphone scope, uh, which we call the Megascope, um, was designed by, by Tavis and I, and it, it started with. Our, our band stands for we want to give voice to people. We want to allow people to say whatever they want to say and feel comfortable and um, it's more of a platform device. So I actually started it with just the megaphone and then um, we were on Roosevelt Island right after Hurricane Sandy wiped away my house in Long Beach and so Tavis and I were living together and he comes over and he looks at me and goes, that's dope. Add a sniper rifle to it. And I'm like, classic push method. <laughs> oh, but uh, done. So I mean, really one of the sayings that we that we have for it is um, words are weapons, so and know aim how true. to aim and aim true. Yeah. Wow. So it's not only are you just speaking into something loudly, but have a purpose, have a have a direct aim on, on what you're saying. Don't just, you know, walk down the street and blab stuff for no reason, have a purpose. So yeah, if we're talking about Aim True, what type of activism do you guys want to see in today's society? Mm. You know, um, I, I think something that's pointed for us right now and, and relating to our partnership with Panda Diplomacy, they had this, uh, one of their, their slogans was, no locals, which, um, 
you know, in the surfing community, in the skate community, there's an idea of owning turf. Mm -hmm. And if you want to surf, you can't surf my break. Or you, this is my skate park. And well, what he's suggesting with the you no know, locals thing is no, it's actually it belongs to everybody. Mm -hmm. And so I came up with the concept of Free Hawaii, and you know, got with based upon that idea. Favorite superpower. Uh, uh, Sonic. Yeah, invincibility. Uh, Kryptonite. Uh, women. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. I was gonna say pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite hashtag. Aim true. Oh, what's your pushback? What's your pushback? Same. And your arch nemesis. Actually, I want to change that. I love sorry, I'm not sorry. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, next Arch nemesis. Oh. Ego. I guess, uh, you know what? Local servers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Super Ivy, the hashtag hero hero out. Do we do our Captain Planet chant? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fire! <laughs>